Even if it started as a simple walk, it became a rescue operation. Hi, today's episode will be a special one. Back then, I didn't even imagine how special. Because it's the day of the Yokai Moor Memorial Hike. But because yesterday evening I came back from Germany and I was very tired, I decided not to participate. But Edith does on the 30 km distance together with a common friend, Blanca. And I will go to meet them to Rimedia. Right now, I'm in the parking of Decathlon because I bought something that we'll need in Iceland. I guess, hopefully we won't. The girls arrived to Moldovenest in 5-6 to six hours, which is after the half of the distance, so I anticipate that they have 1.5 hours, 2 hours, 2.5 hours to the finish. Depending on this, I will decide which way to go in order to meet them. I either climb up on the Great Ditch then to Piatra Sequului, or if I have enough time, I go around, then together with them we descend on the Great Ditch. I arrive to Rimetia and unfortunately it's raining here. Nevertheless, I decided to put on the rain gear and climb up on the Great Ditch. This way, theoretically, I will meet the girls. I got a message 5 minutes ago that they reached Piatra Sequului, but I have no idea when they sent it because there's no signal in the area. I've put on the rain gear and maybe maybe the rain starts to calm down. I've met a friend who was very muddy so I guess the others are the same. I arrive to the meadow and perhaps the weather is beginning to get better as well. I've met another friend who also confirmed that it's quite difficult to descend on a great ditch in such conditions. Edith has hiking poles, I don't know about Blanca, so it could be useful to give her mine. Up until now came only acquaintances from the opposite direction. And in the meanwhile a rainbow is also appearing behind me. And there's just a few raindrops left. While I was climbing, several hikers told me that a girl fell and broke her nose, so it sounded pretty ugly at first, but I just met her and she was walking on her own legs with a little bit of help, so in the end it doesn't seem too serious. In this area the trail is slippery even in dry conditions, but after a rain like now it's actually quite dangerous. I left Rimetia half an hour ago, so I still have half an hour to the saddle, during which I should meet the girls. It took me 35 minutes to meet them, so we're going down together now. I thought naively at that moment, someone broke her leg, so I have to climb up again with this survival blanket. So I leave the girls to descend on their own and I run up. As you can see, I'm close to the saddle, it took me 40 minutes to get here. But I met someone who told me that the injured person already got a survival blanket, so I'm not sure if it makes sense for me to climb as well. I managed to call the village and ask if there's still need for me. The mountain rescue team also left 10 minutes ago from Ayud. And now I'm waiting for a call to decide if I should continue climbing or turn back. I will continue the climb to make sure that everybody is alright and they don't need anything. The sun has set, so it will be dark soon. It started as a simple walk, but it became a rescue operation. To understand the following events, some explanations are needed. The accident took place 10 minutes from the saddle of Piatra Sekuyului towards Moldovenesti. While I was climbing up the Great Ditch, a volunteer called Alexandru left from Cluj with a special off-road vehicle and from Ayud, the mountain rescue team. Both teams tried to get to the saddle from Poden, but this was very difficult on the muddy, slippery road.
In the meanwhile, I reached the saddle where I met a participant who was waiting for the rescue teams. From him I found out that there are two more persons with the injured one and they don't need anything. Soon Alexandru has arrived with the off-road vehicle and we were waiting for the mountain rescue team with the stretcher. Unfortunately the car of the mountain rescue team got stuck, so Alexandru returned to get two of them and the stretcher and the other two left on foot. So we left with the participant, with Alexandru and with the two mountain rescue guys to the place of the accident. Later the other two mountain rescue guys also arrived. After medical attention was given and the person put on the stretcher, the mountain rescue team decided not to ascend on the slippery trail but rather descend. Because of this Alexandru transported back one of the mountain rescue guys to their car so he could drive to his colleagues on a different road. After that the off-road vehicle returned to get us to Rimetia through Kolcesti.